Yeah, welcome here at EMAG Laser Tech in Heubach. My name is Nicolas Meyer. I'm responsible for the technical sales as well as the application. And today I want to take the chance and give you a short overview about our latest laser welding solution for truck differentials. So first of all, we do have an implemented infeed conveyor with the pellets to make sure that we are able to unload or infeed all three single components. The housing is already pre-assembled and as a next function we have implemented a huge gantry system which will then pick up the single components and move those into the welding machine. So the first welding machine is responsible for the first weld seam. We do have a second one due to the fact that we are having very short cycle times and the machine is fully equipped with a lot of functions. So we first of all start with laser cleaning the two single components. Here we do have an integrated scanner optic with a 200 watt pulse laser source and here we are going to rotate the workpiece, clean the surface where on which we are later on going to weld the two components together. As a second function we have implemented also a turn over unit to make sure that we are able to turn the workpiece 180 degrees to bring them into the right welding position. As a next step we move the fixture or the chuck underneath this joining tower. So here we are going to join the parts together with a pressing force up to 100 kilonewton and after we have pressed the work pieces together we do have as an option sometimes driven because of um, the material itself. We have implemented as an option an induction coil to preheat the workpiece before welding and then we move the part again back underneath this joining tower. Then we fix the workpiece again and we first of all start with a rotation of the workpiece to find the seam into or to bring the seam into the right position so we do have our implemented EC seam function which makes so sure to find the right position and then we start welding. Here we have an implemented um, axiom extraction pipe as well as filler wire and the interesting or a very important function is that we have also implemented an NC controlled optic. So it's an NC controlled B axis and this gives the machine a high flexibility to weld parts or weld seams in different angular positions. As I mentioned, due to very short cycle times, we have integrated a second welding machine, which is right next to the first one. And this machine is pretty much equipped with the same functions as the first one. So we first of all also start here to infeed the first welded workpiece and to add the third single component. And this third single component will be laser cleaned also with this scanner optics. Afterwards, we also turn the workpiece 180 degrees, move it back onto the, to the pre-welded workpiece, which means bring them into the right position. And after that, we have also implemented the same joining function as in the first machine. So here we also join the workpiece together. If needed, and as an option, we also have implemented an, in, an induction coil, um, preheating before welding if needed, and then we start with the welding function. So. This optic is pretty much uh, same or fully same equipped as the first machine and here you can see it very nice that we have imp you, here you see our chuck or our fixture and this chuck is later on in C controlled um, moving step by step from scanning to turn to turn over to press to preheat and then to weld. After we have welded the second weld seam the workpiece the finished one will be unloaded out of the ESC 600 machine and then brought with the gantry to the next station. The next station is a brushing station and this brushing station is responsible to brush the laser welded surface to make sure that we are not having any spatters on this welded surface. So here this is a uh, brushing station and afterwards um, as requested from our customer, we have also implemented an ultrasonic testing equipment. This station is also developed from EMAC software as well as hardware. So here we are going to control the workpiece 100% and afterwards, if the workpiece is okay, it will be transferred to the outfeed conveyor. And here, later on, our customer will implement a robot automation and will unload the workpiece from this position. 
I hope that I was able to give you a short overview about our latest truck differential solution. I'm really looking forward to take the chance and talk with you in person as well. So feel free to contact us whenever is needed. And thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.